intensive care, visited the White House under Obama dozens of times. So did the Muslim Brotherhood. Care and members of care are attached to the Democratic Party, even though it's a Hamas front group, and it's been proven to be, based on litigation, FBI wiretaps in the 1990s. A couple months ago, actually, I think it was a month ago, there was a meeting at the Department of Homeland Security on how to combat hate and anti-Semitism. There were three Islamic groups that were invited, including CARE. The FBI under Democrat administrations has used CARE as outreach. CARE is a part of the Democrat Party coalition. Therefore, the Hamas network is part of the Democrat Party coalition. And you see it in our streets, you see it in our universities, you see it among Democrats in Congress, you see it among media members who are also mostly Democrats, these people who are riding in the streets and violently attacking people and carrying signs talking about exterminating Jews and uh, on and on and on and getting rid of Israel, they're not voting Republican. If they voted all, they vote Democrat. Same with these tenured professors. The Democrat Party is a sort of protection racket, if you will, or an umbrella organization for the American Marxist movements, and I might add, the infiltration in our country in multiple ways of Islamists. It simply is. And you can see it in the policy that Obama had, in the policy that Biden has, which is the same as Obama, the same players uh, that, uh, Biden ha that Obama had, Biden has. If you're black, do you know the history of the Democrat Party? Obviously, slavery, segregation, Jim Crow, but what else? Eugenics, which was focused on, among others, black Americans, was a major objective of the so-called progressive movements of Woodrow Wilson and the Democrat Party. The opposition to the Civil Rights Act right into the 1960s came mostly from the Democrats. And today the Democrat Party pushes what I call civil rights Marxism. It's not about equality, it's about equity. That's civil rights Marxism. So in other words, it uses blacks and other minorities to advance an ideology that destroys the family, that destroys the black culture, and destroys our communities and neighborhoods, particularly in our inner cities, that are run by Democrats, many of whom are hardcore radical leftists. What about the Asian community? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Franklin Roosevelt rounded up 120,000 Japanese Americans and put them in internment camps. None of them had done anything, except they were Japanese. And it was upheld by a Roosevelt Pact Supreme Court in the Korematsu decision, a disgrace. Well, Mark, that's a long time ago. Oh, really? Well, the Biden administration and the Democrat Party and the Democrat left-wing administrators of our colleges and universities opposed, opposed litigation that took place in the Supreme Court ruling that said that Asian Americans are not to be discriminated against because their numbers are significant in terms of admissions to colleges and so forth. Why? Because they score very high on these various tests and so forth. And so Harvard and other colleges, what they did is they discriminated against Asians. The Supreme Court said you can't. Joe Biden said it was one of the worst decisions. What's wrong with this radical court? And they were looking for ways to get around it. That is, they're resegregating our society. What about Hispanic Americans? Obviously, many of the people who live on our southern border are Hispanic Americans, the vast majority of whom are here legally. And maybe they've had ancestors who've been here for some time. Now, not only is the entire country feeling the brunt of open borders, 100,000 dead with fentanyl, drug cartels, the inhumanity that's going on the border, our border communities are feeling this the most. So American, Hispanic Americans are feeling the blunt of this. And this is intentional. This has been made the disaster, the inhumanity on the southern border. So why are 
Hispanic Americans still Democrats. And then the white working class, the men and women who use their hands as well as their brains, who get dirt under their finger fingernails, who actually make things and grow things and produce things. Some are union, most are non-union, but it doesn't matter. Why are they Democrats? What has the Democrat Party done for them other than besmirch them, other than smear them? Nothing. They've made their wages. They've made their lifestyles. They've made their finances poor and are in a very, very difficult situation in this country right now. The Democrat Party does hate America. That's why I wrote the book. I wrote this book. I didn't have a ghostwriter write this book. I don't need the money from this book. I wrote this book because this party is destroying America, whether it's foreign policy or domestic policy. So let's circle back. Let's circle back to Hamas and CARE and Students for Justice in Palestine and all the fancy names that they use to cover up their true purpose. It's done the opposite. It funds them. It gives tenure to their professors. This is a Democrat party that even in the face of what's taking place in the Middle East and Israel, how Israel was attacked, keeps our border wide open. Why wouldn't terrorists come in here willy-nilly? Who's going to stop them? We're not vetting them. Joe Biden doesn't care. He doesn't care about the well-being of the American people. He doesn't care about the well-being, and I'll say it, of the Jewish people, particularly in Israel. He lies to them. He lies to us about how he stands with them while they're undermining their war effort at every turn, just like Obama did. What has he done for the black community? He's done the same that FDR did. Nothing. He hasn't lifted a finger. Remember, Biden's background is as a racist and a segregationist. That's what he was. And not an observer, a participant. So he'll use whatever ethnicity or racial group he has to for power. I mentioned what he's done for the Asian community. It's more like he's done what he's done to the Asian community in supporting litigation that would prevent Asian kids based on merit from getting into Ivy Lake schools. And the Hispanic community? Well, the Hispanic community has been ravaged as has the rest of the country from the open border policies of this administration. The Democrat Party does hate America. And that's why America is losing its spirit. That's why America, American citizens are at each other's throats. That's why so many more people are impoverished than they were three years ago. That's why when it comes to international relations, the rest of the world laughs at him. They know he's weak, they know he's an appeaser, and, he's no, and among other things, they know he's not with it. And yet he's going to be the nominee of the Democrat Party, because the Democrat Party thinks they're doing great. Open borders, a disastrous economy, war breaking out all over the world, and Biden wants to be reelected. And by the way, his media is all for it. The media that has been supporting Hamas. The media that has been supporting the attempt to imprison a former president. The media that has run cover for Joe Biden every step of the way, despite the fact we now know that there were 40, 40 individuals who were giving information about the Biden crime family stopped at every turn by the Department of Justice under Merrick Garland. Amen. And that's the situation we're in today. Shamefully. I'll be right back. I agree with Mark Levin. Vote Daniel Cameron for governor of Kentucky. Godly principles, a man of character, a man, a Kentucky man. Praise the Lord with a wonderful wife that's a school teacher in Kentucky. Praise the Lord, godly principles, red, yellow, brown, black and white. We're all precious in Jesus' sight. Vote for Daniel Cameron.
parking here because I'm not Go Daniel Cameron for governor. Vote Republican. Send a message of godly principles across the nation. No more Biden. Governor Daniel Cameron. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Red, yellow, brown, black, and white. We're all precious in Jesus' sight.
Kentucky and Kenton County. Heading for home. Travels with John Stevenson. 859-750-0000. Join us on Facebook and YouTube. www.begottensun.com www.biz Let's see www.speaks.biz.com and www.jstevenson.com Heading on up the road cabinet public hearing on all of the uh, I-275 and I-75 changes that are being recommended due to the new bridge and the new road. Things will change. Time will tell. Nice to see some things out to public hearing though and I hope the pictures and the stories that we did are helpful to you as citizens.
Praise God, I know it's real. Yes, it's real, it's real. Oh, I know it's real. Praise God, the doubts are settled. For I know, I know it's real. Yes, it's real, it's real. Oh, I know it's real. Praise God. salvation or as a Christian to a closer walk with you, whatever that might happen to be, let us right now make that commitment to you and then make that commitment known to somebody else that we know to be a Christian just as quick as we can. Lord, that they might be able to help us to grow. Thank you so much again for this time together. Be with those that maybe couldn't be with us for one reason or another and help them, Lord. And those that are sick, Lord, help them physically. Those that have problems and anxieties, help them mentally, emotionally. And those who are unsaved, help them, Lord spiritually through their soul. We ask it in Jesus' mighty name for his kingdom. Amen. 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 Right to be with you, the Whosoever Will group, John and Stevenson and Randy Wallace from Oak Ridge Baptist Church. And God bless you men and here at Fairhaven Rescue Mission. It is great to be with you tonight. God bless you and the wonderful people here at Fairhaven. Thank you, sir. Thank you, good sir. Nice to be here with you. Actually, I had a lot of fun. I hate to tell you this. <laughs> I enjoyed myself tremendously. That was, uh, yeah, Billy Graham he was, uh, he was awesome. Billy Graham was a wonderful human being. And, uh, yes, he was a wonderful human yeah, being. Yeah, I got here in movies. Yep. I get my American Graffiti's in that too. Yeah. And, uh, his daughter still preaches, you know, on, on WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. That's a tri-state gospel out of Falmouth, Kentucky. And you can hear Aunt Grant Watt on there early Sunday morning. And, to, and Gil Hammond on there, too, my best friend who owns the Christian radio station. And we all try to help the Fairhaven Rescue Mission. Anything else that you'd like to... Because we're, we're down to time, aren't we? Well, thank you all very much, and God bless you. Oh. I just like to let you know one thing about John Jackson, Little Gibson, Tony yeah. yeah. Gordon, John Ryan, 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 she's my aunt. Shower time, guys. Who's that now? Lulu. 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 She's a gospel singer. Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Yes. Okay. She's a gospel singer. Well, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, God bless you. Well, we had a good time this evening, didn't we? Oh, he is, he is wonderful. Yep, he certainly is. I'm more into rock and roll. rock and roll. I do this for the country. The old country, I like it's a new thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice to see you this evening.